This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer in John. I love going out the Queensbury rules in the walk-off with this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from the Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Nice shot to the body. And now some separation. Caught the kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Changing leather early. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch guy. <laughs> Get it, jump. Oh, Bale's on the submission now. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Perry. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control. 
controls the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Mm, that was nice. Big grounded pounds. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys will start throwing up legs, chasing triangle. Harry's back in half guard, very comfortable here. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. What a strike from off of his back. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Just over two minutes to go. Both guys appeared to land there. Beautiful right hook counter. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Strong hook lands. Tries to work it into a takedown. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, big knee! So a nice shot landing the counter there, and that's really the book on this guy. He is a counter striker. He waits for his opponent to engage, and then tries to use that aggression against them. That's exactly what he was trying to do there. All right, he's got the feet on the hips now, DC, in a pretty good position to get out, I would think, if he so chooses. Absolutely. This is the ideal position for escaping. Now, you're not going to get a submission off or anything like that, but you having your feet on your opponent's hips, it's just a lot of He's in a lot of trouble. See that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. There's nothing to worry about too much now, but he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder match. And there you go, again, half guard. Fighter trying to pass here, ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Uh, round two straight ahead. Uh, All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And, of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round here. Oh, nice straight. That'll work. Good punch, man. Yeah, he wants to draw his opponent in here, looking to set up another counter, but he wants his opponent to strike first. Takedown defense is there. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice.
stuffs the takedown, no problem. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of... Oh! Back to the feet now. So there. So pretty good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned. Oh! Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, still holding it. He can't even get it. Big shot to the body. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Perry's nose is bleeding now. He looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Takedown defense holds up. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. He's having his way with him here. Perry's back into full guard. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, that right eye's looking really swollen now. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Perry gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. He's throwing these punches in combination, really dictate the face to his opponent. Oh, man, the flood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure some things out defensively. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing, like, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. Great ground and pound by this man. Come on, I'll stand up. It's work. And now he's a joke. Oh, that one looks really tight, DC. Oh, now he bails on the submission. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Now he's going full mount. Perry's in half guard. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Great fight. Ready. 
Third round underway. Eats a jab there. Punch got blocked there. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Massive knee to the body. Oh. Back to his feet. Doing work with the jab there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the oh! oh, effective strike there by... Great fight, damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at night 10. 50K, baby, somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so even right match. These right two. Back. Well, that swelling is getting out of control. To that end, you see the referee has paused the action, likely to call on the doctor. We'll see if this fight can continue, champ. Well, it's so noticeable. You gotta check on it. You gotta make sure that this fighter is able to continue. He's taking a close look, going back to the referee. Looks as though he's going to allow the action to continue. Fans like that decision, but for the compromised fighter, maybe got to take some chances. Ready, he's going to take a lot of chances Ready. now because he's got to rush. He cannot be as patient as he intended to be with that amount of swelling. All right, well, the local hospital might be busy later tonight. What an absolute war this has been. The Cutmen have done a pretty good job, but both guys are leaking in the face here. Yeah, they're working full. <laughs> they're working full tonight. I mean, the Cutmen are having to try to piece these two together after every single... Oh, Beautiful combination. He knocks him down. Oh, a little single collar tie there. You know... the ground and pound strike here. And he gets back up here. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Out of range with that. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Ready for the official decision, Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 58 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the problem. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.